السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل تھینک یو سو مچ فار یور کنٹینیوس سپورٹ آف مائی چینل اینڈ ان ٹو ڈیز لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو پروو آ ریزلٹ دیٹ از اے ڈائریکٹ اپلیکیشن آف دا آر کمیڈین پراپرٹی دیٹ وی ہیو اسٹڈیڈ اینڈ پروو ان لاسٹ لیکچر اوکے سو واٹ از دس تھیورم دس تھیورم اسٹیٹس دیٹ بٹوین اینی ٹو ریئل نمبرس دیر از اے ریشنل نمبر اوکے ناؤ دیز ٹو ریئل نمبرس کین بی ریشنل ایز ویل ایز irrationals okay so this gives us another scope and what is that it also means that between any two irrationals there is a rational number okay so this theorem is basically telling us that how closely packed these numbers are okay and that is why we sometimes call it the density theorem okay so let's start its proof and uh, we start our proof with the uh, supposing two real numbers and uh, let's say that those two real numbers are x and y and uh, there is an order between them and the order is that x is less than y okay you can take y less than x as well okay now if x is less than y can we say that from here this implies that y minus x is greater than zero this is simple algebraic manipulation step nothing else okay So y minus x is greater than zero. So here we have a number which is of course a real number and is greater than zero. Okay. So now we can apply Archimedean property. How? For Archimedean property, if you remember, let me recall, we have two conditions. We should have two real numbers. One of them should be positive. The other real numbers can be positive as well as negative. That is up to you people. And in this case, we are going to choose the other real number. and that number is 1 okay so one of the real number that we will treat as our positive real number though the other real number that we are choosing is also positive but in this case we are going to choose we are going to choose y minus x as positive real numbers okay so by archimedean property what does it tell us archimedean property tells us that there will exist an n which is a positive integer such that n times y minus x will be greater than the other real number that we have supposed and what is that real number in this case i have supposed that the real number is 1 okay and then we can write it as n y minus n x is greater than 1 and then finally n y is greater than 1 plus n x and let me label this inequality as a you can write anything okay i have labeled it as a because i'm going i need it in the uh, you know next few steps okay so what we have concluded we have made an inequality using the archimedean property and this theorem is actually an extensive application of archimedean uh, property because we are going to use it many time okay so now we are going to use this archimedean property again and this time the two real numbers that we need is one of them is 1 and the other is nx okay as i have told you that this is totally up to you people to choose the real numbers and which one of them should be treated as positive real number that is also your choice okay so in this case i am going to treat this one as the positive real number and this nx as any other real number which can be positive as well as negative okay so what does archimedean property tells us it tells us that there must exist a positive integer n which when multiplied by this positive real number 1 will give us a number that will be greater than this nx okay so i call that positive integer as m1 you can name any number okay so m1 is over positive integer and when it is multiplied with this positive real number 1 our answer will be greater than nx okay and from here we conclude that m1 is greater than nx because you know that one is additive sorry multiplicative identity anything that is multiplied with with one will give you the same number okay so m1 is greater than nx okay so we are going to use our comedian property once more now and now we have two real numbers one of them is still one which will be treated as our positive real number and the other number in this case is minus nx as i have told you that you can choose any two real numbers there is only one condition 
that one of them should be positive okay so here the positive real number that we are choosing is one and the other real number is minus nx so again by using archimedean property there will exist a positive integer and in this case we consider that positive integer to be m2 this is our positive integer that we are going to use today in this case okay so m2 times 1 is greater than minus nx this is what archimedean property told, tells us okay so this will give us m2 is greater than minus nx or you can write this as minus m2 is less than nx as you know from the properties of real number system that when you multiply a number sorry an inequality with a negative number here we have multiplied this inequality with negative 1 this reverses the direction of inequality okay so we have minus m2 is less than nx okay and from these two inequalities let me show them by another color m1 is greater than minus nx and minus m2 is less than nx can we say that minus m2 is less than nx is less than m of course we can here you have minus m2 which is less than nx here you have nx which is less than m1 so finally these two inequalities can be simultaneously written as minus m2 is less than nx is less than m okay so from here we make another assumption and that assumption is that if this is the case then there will exist another integer m another positive integer m another positive integer m such that minus m2 is less than equal to m is less than equal to m1 okay here we have not written so this is the relation that the number that we are choosing now m is such a number which lies between m sorry minus m2 and m1 and what does this number do we are sure about one thing that this number that we have chosen is such a number that when minus 1 when we subtract 1 from this number its answer will be less than or equal to nx and that number itself will be greater than the number sorry nx okay so this relation holds here and you can prove this by examples you can simply prove this by example so students we have reached on this inequality so far and from here this inequality can be divided into two separate inequalities as follows uh, one of them will be nx is less than m and the other will be m minus 1 is less than or equal to nx okay and now this inequality can be written as m less than or equal to 1 plus nx and if you look at this number 1 plus nx do you judge something on this board from here i'm talking about the inequality which i have labeled as a what does it tell us it tells us that ny is greater than 1 plus nx so i hope so this will make sense to you if i write m is less than ny have i did something wrong of course i haven't why because 1 plus nx was greater than or equal to m so i have replaced 1 plus nx with something bigger with something bigger than itself so this inequality will still be there okay it will remain the same in fact the equality sign has also been removed how because 1 plus nx if 1 plus nx was equal to m and now i am replacing 1 plus, 1 plus nx with something big so the inequality will no longer be here okay so we have m is less than ny and finally if i write these two inequalities over here and this one together like this nx is less than m is less than ny and then applying some simple algebraic manipulation steps we can write x is less than m over n which is in turn less than y so what do we have in between x and y a number that has been written in the form m over n 
and m and n are integers and n is non-zero okay so what do we call this number of course it's a rational number because it fulfills all the conditions of being a rational number so finally we conclude that between the two real numbers x and y there exists a rational number p i called it p you can call it by any uh, any symbol okay so this is the proof of the density theorem between any two reals there is a rational number okay so this completes the proof and uh, there are other applications of this theorem as well for example if someone asks you to prove that between any two reals there is an irrational but we have proved here between any two reals there is a rational now if someone asks you to prove that between any two reals there is an irrational how will you do that so let me show you here So now I need to prove that between any two reals there is an irrational number but I start with this inequality over here okay I have removed it let me write it again we have just proved that between any two real numbers say those two real numbers are x and y there exists a rational number between any two real numbers okay okay so I suppose an irrational number here let u u be any irrational number okay so if i divide x and y by this irrational number what will we get in result of course the results will also be real numbers okay because real number is closed with respect to multiple uh, sorry division you divide any two real numbers then you will get again a real number okay so if i take the real number x over u and the other real number as y over u still there will be a rational number between them and I call that rational number in this case as Q for example so between the two real numbers there is an there is a rational number okay and then you apply the simple algebraic manipulation step you can write it as x less than uq is less than y so what do we have here what is this quantity is it rational or irrational so if you look at the first video that I have posted in this playlist, you will see a video which is entitled as sum of or product of rational and irrational is again an irrational number. So here we have u which is an irrational number and q which is a rational number. Okay, so their product will be, what will it be? Of course it will be an irrational number. So finally we have x is less than some irrational number I call it uh, for example w is less than y so using the property that between any two reals there is a rational we have successfully proved that between any two real numbers there is an irrational as well okay so this actually helps us to understand the real number system how because it tells us it helps us to understand how closely packed these numbers are some people call that there are so many rationals and irrational. I, I don't think so that this is a, a good suggestion or good usage of words with respect to the number system. I will say that these two numbers are, these two sets of numbers, I mean rationals and irrational, they are so closely packed to each other. They are so closely packed in real number system. Okay, so this gives us a better understanding to move on in the real number system. Further, we are going to prove the completeness property and so many other properties of the real number system and these results will surely help us to reach there uh, a little bit easily and I hope so that this will be quite useful for you people in your real analysis score.